All right, so we are pretty much ready to get this thing fiberglassed in up there. And <clears throat> before we do that, what I want to do is coat the inside here with the potable water epoxy from Ecopoxy, the Aquapura. Um, what we, well, I mean, it'll just be impossible or way too hard to do it after the fact, so we want to do it now. So, but what we don't want to do is um, get the Ecopoxy up here because we're actually going to be bonding this fiberglass to the fiberglass lip in there. And we want that bond to be really strong without the epoxy in between it. Um, I mean, the epoxy will bond to epoxy just fine, but what I would really like is to have this fiberglass layer bonded to that fiberglass layer just for strength purposes. Um, and then we'll be putting more fiberglass over the top, so you know that's gonna be the real uh, strength of the adhesion. But this will almost be like a really nice um, bonded gluing that will prevent it from leaking and stuff like that. Or water getting up in those cracks and just kind of sitting there. We don't want that. So it'll be just like a really nice smooth bond. So what I've done is um, got this all sanded down to size. I took a little off the top here just to make sure it's a really nice snug fit. And then I took a pencil and got from the inside and traced along the edges here to know where that fiberglass lip is. So you can see here, we have this really nice thick fiberglass lip that this is going to be set down on top of. And um, you know, there's not gonna be a lot of weight on this. It's not really like a load bearing surface, but it certainly could, it's gonna be that strong. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, what we're gonna do is mix up a batch of the Ecopoxy and coat it. This surface is already primed and ready to go. Uh, by that, I mean uh, we've sanded it down. It's not um, waxy and we've sanded all of these down. What I might do is just give it a quick um, hit with the Xylol just to get up any dust or anything like that, make sure it's super clean and then we will coat this entire surface with the epoxy and let it cure. So we're done with this. Um, it will need a second coat. Um, I've got the kids on my own this weekend, so that coat will not be able to happen today, which means we are going to have to come back and um, de-wax this with some xylol and then uh, give it a quick sand to give it that tooth that's going to enable the second coat to adhere properly. Um, it's not gonna be fun. I'm not looking forward to it. I wish I could come out here tonight and put the second coat on, but realistically, that's just not gonna happen. Uh. So Jameson and Ronan are out here today helping me. 
mommy is out of town, so um, I just could not bear the thought of having to sand down that epoxy we laid down yesterday and lose some of it in the sanding process and it was just going to be really hard and uh, time consuming to do. So I figured um, there is a maximum 24 hour recoat time for the Eco Epoxy Aqua Pura and it's, <clears throat> I don't know, it's maybe been 20 hours so we're well within that period so I figured I'd come out here and just put on that second coat. What's amazing, this is our roller from uh, yesterday and first off this thing is like sharp where the little threads point out but also it was in a plastic tub and when I tried to peel it off it actually peeled the plastic tub apart. So that's how strong it is. It's pretty impressive. So hopefully we'll be able to mix up a quick batch of epoxy and uh, lay it on there and then get these kiddos back home and time for a good snack and some lunch and a nap. You want to hold this one? Okay. Okay, so um, I'm just going to give this a quick wipe with the Xylol because I want to get rid of some of the initial waxes that are starting to form. Um, you know, this isn't necessary, but it just makes me feel better. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, if there is any little wax that has been forming in the curing process, hopefully this will knock it off and allow us to have a nice clean bond to uh, to the two layers. Alright. And throw this smelly rag out of here so we're not all breathing it in. Get a brand new roller. Hold it, hold it. Okay, each one of you get a roller. Roller. Isn't it nice and soft? Roller. All right, boys. Here's the deal. You cannot touch this. You can hold your rollers. Okay, and each of you can hold your popsicle sticks. But you cannot touch this. Ronan, you cannot touch this. No, you cannot touch it. Okay? No. <laughs> now look, we're going to start over on my side, and we're going to work our way to your side. What we're going to do is we're going to pour this out. But I do not want you guys to touch this. Okay? No touching. So that wasn't too bad, only took a few minutes, uh, I just really wanted to wrap this up so that's why they came out and did it with me. 
Um, if anything, it'll be a good story to tell them. Because that's going to be their birth up there. So they'll be birth. sleeping above some of their handiwork. Birth. Yeah, that's your birth up there. So, anyhow, thanks for watching. Say thank you. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say thank you. Thank you.